all right guys welcome back to another video and the previous um interior that he did was my red interior Is your car? Is your car? Let me ask you something. When you started the lift shop? Yeah. You did all that low, right? No, you can't drive that low. At least not in New York City. Which, if you've been following, I just sold to my boy Smooth. Now, Smooth, be on the lookout for Smooth. This is his IG. All right. Any last words? Be on the lookout, smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, peace out, guys. He's, he's going to be rocking that red interior and putting it on his white charger. That's something I would have wanted done if my car was white. White and red is just amazing. Well, check this out, guys. I'm going to be doing a whole new interior, but I do not know what direction to go yet. You know, how I want to keep it sporty, no VIP, no diamond stitch, but they do have this honeycomb design because you know it's a dodge charger the honeycomb it's been used not much in their interior but like you know little things like the grill you know stuff like that so you never know i might go with a honeycomb interior theme or something like that but i don't know what color to go guys please comment below tell me what color should i do my new interior i already did red red rocks with everything guys and as you can see my red interior on my lexus is fire and especially looks fire on a white vehicle which that's why you know big up to smooth that bought my interior because his charger is white but i don't know what direction to go guys what color it's a show car i cannot if you're gonna spend the money to do an interior you gotta make it you know attractive you cannot just do go go plain or oh, let me get a plain black interior you know nothing like that you know i do like subtle looks like you know you don't want to go too crazy you want to make it look like the thing came out of factory like that like that you know you don't want to go and, and do too much because i feel like when you do too much you just make the whole thing tacky like it just uh, too much i was in the borderline of too much with my red interior guys i had the red well it was a it was a red and black theme so it, it, i made it to make it look nice you know what i'm saying like but i feel like i was borderline tacky like you know um but no the interior looks amazing looked amazing in my vehicle but i did the blue the red dash the red um headliner the red pillars all around the red seats completely red all around i didn't want to know two-tone and like that and then i did the door panels completely red with only like um the middle black which was almost like a reverse thing of what dodge usually does with the red in the middle of their door panels i went around and did the red around with the black in the middle so you know um things like this take a lot of time and consideration to think about what color scheme and what design you really want to go with now like i said if you spending the money it's not like you're going to be charged any cheaper with whatever design you might do you know so the, the way i think about things guys if you're gonna go balls deep just just go in balls deep you know what i mean like go all the way go all the way guys because you know you know in the long run that's what you're gonna want and doing it little by little sometimes it just takes too much time and you think you're gonna save money but you're really not you're probably gonna end up wasting more money you know than you originally thought by just taking your time uh take it from me guys i've been doing this for a while and that's my experience that when you know it's not that i want to go cheap it's just that i want to take my time on certain things and i have opportunities where you know it's just it, it's 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 uh it's not a good idea when you try to do things yourself sometimes you know especially when it could be done you know professionally by a professional anyway guys i'm talking too much let's just get in this let's get oh, i'm catching my breath because i just brung all this stuff up and it's brick out it's not the first time he's done it so what we're gonna end up doing is actually saving this dash and of course we're gonna do the upholstery in the seat 